Hey guys and welcome back to this brand new video of Newbie. Um, this tutorial is going to be um, about the SPF game part 3. Um, you guys really like the series and I was like, if it goes well, I will continue the series and it got really well. My first part almost got 3,000 views, which is really epic and I really want to thank you all so much for that. Um, before we start off, I want to say a lot of people haven't been subscribed to me yet but they do watch my videos so if you haven't subscribed yet please subscribe down below we're almost at 2,000 subscribers and it is really good and it feels just really good to have that goal and I really want to thank you all so much for the support I'm getting um, so yeah if you really want to become a member, uh, a member then uh, you can click the join button down below in the blue and uh, you can purchase one of the tiers and then once you purchase one, you're gonna get um, like perks from me. I will give you items, uh, and then you can support me furtherly on. So we can start off with our FPS game. So you see, over here in the last tutorial, we got stuck at this. So I noticed, like, because it's not working, we're gonna change it. So over here, local T is equal to five. Delete that, and delete everything inside of your humanoid dine function. So you go over here and you do and you hold click and you drag it until here and then backspace so everything is gone before we continue we're gonna go into replicated storage we're gonna go to remote events and then we're gonna make a new remote event and that is going to be the died event just like that and then once we died then we can do game dot replicated storage dot remote events let me zoom in a bit so you guys can actually see because I'm getting a lot of complaints about that. Um, remote events dot died event colon fire client for the player. So what we're gonna be doing if you die, we're gonna like f we're gonna like enable this and then we're gonna catch that up in our death GUI. So you want to make a local script in this and you want to name it. Well, just keep it blank. Then game dot replicated storage. Uh, remote events dot died event colon connect uh, dot on client event colon connect and we're gonna change it to a function of nothing then script dot parent well the yeah, script dot parent dot main frame dot visible is equal to true and then wait well you can keep it like that and that's it so if I'm right I have to enable this because uh, I want to see how it looks. You died. Um, um, you're almost back in the battle. Well, get ready to get back in the battle. Get ready to battle again. And instead of uh, this one, I'm gonna make it red. So you actually know that you died. Can make this blue, yep. And then you can simply visible off. So that was already really easy. So we're gonna test out play. All right, assault rifle. Yes, I won RB battles. I complete everything. But okay, if we die, we should. Yep, you died. Get ready to battle again. And then, boom. But you notice that the top bar was not covered. Easy to do that. Over here, in mainframe, uh, this one, you see border size pixel. And normally it's one, but you want to set it to 100. Enter. And then the border color is going to be 0, comma, 0, comma, 0. Enter. So we're gonna test this out again. So what we just did is um, every GUI has a border, like um, over. Well, can't show that right now. Well, maybe like if we do. Yeah, like I can't show at the moment, but we're gonna see if we play. It takes a while to load in. Okay, there, and we click assault rifle, and we die. 
you see you died get ready to battle again and then boom so but you saw the top bar was covered which is epically amazing but you noticed that it goes really fast and you're almost not it's like impossible to read so you go into your diet handler um this one yes you want to make it like like three seconds and then play and then real gun and i want to die boom you died get ready to battle again and then it takes a bit longer but you will eventually load in again yep there we go so get a shotty all epic and well let's get on with the second thing so instead of um you can shoot and then wait until someone's killed we're gonna make it a total kill so you um like you shoot you shoot your enemy and then once you get like a total of 100 kills the game will shut off and restart again so in um replicated storage you want to make a new folder called values and you want to insert a number value not number but number and you want to name it kills counter like this so that was already pretty easy so then you want to go into your um handler and then over here you see this and then uh game got replicated uh, storage dot values dot kill counter is equals to game dot replicated storage dot values dot kill counter plus one we're gonna add one kill now go into um starter gui and make a new gui simply name this the values gui and only insert a text label border transfer uh, background transparency one and then over here size one comma zero comma zero comma fifty so now it's like this and then you want to make it like this and then you can do whatever font you want i always like gotham black because um it's just like basic word microsoft word like that thing then instead of text you just want to do value is counter and uh, instead of that you want to name this like text label and insert a local script then while to do script the parent the text is equals to game the replicated storage the value is dot kill counter dot value so like this pretty easy well you can do like total kills dot dot and then you want to click play you can see total kills zero and if we die nothing happens of course because we get an actual error but we're gonna disable um yeah that soon so i'm gonna start up two players and we're gonna test this out i have a idea an idea sorry um so instead of values we're gonna drag it into workspace just like that then go into your death uh in your values ui and instead of a game that replicated storage when it's like game dot workspace then um you want to make a um you want to make a folder in here i'm gonna close all of this up click 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 yep and the folder is going to be named main system and you want to insert a local a folder in that you want to name that folder script and you want to insert a local script um, for now, don't do anything with it, and go back to your leader set system. Then, once someone died, we can do um, game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot value event colon fire client um, player, and then instead of remote events, you want to duplicate one of the events. Duplicate. You want to rename it. You want to name it value event. Like that. But now, you're going to wonder, like, why are you firing it to the starter GUI client? But now, 
we're gonna pick that up in this script game dot replicated storage dot uh, remote events dot value event dot on client event or connect to the function of nothing so now that we picked it up we can fire another remote event back so we're gonna do value event duplicate and then uh, return value event we're gonna name it like that that was easy then you can do game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot return value event colon uh, fire server you don't need any arguments because that's how fire server works um so that was pretty easy so you want to go into server script service and in leader stat system you want to duplicate the script and name it value event handler and inside of it delete everything then game dot replicated storage dot remote events dot return remote uh return value event sorry uh dot on server event colon connect to the function of nothing like this yep enter and then you can do game dot workspace dot values dot kill counter dot value The value is equals to game dot workspace game dot workspace dot values dot kill counter dot value plus one yep that's easy so we're gonna test this out right again so we are in the game so we click assault rifle click and then um we see my npc hey and we're just gonna shoot him to death and see, we kill them. Total kills one. And once he respawns, let me wait. Okay. And see, the kills just rise up. And now, if I go on my other place, uh, this one. Um, I believe I can just do this. Yep. Then you can click assault rifle. I'm gonna shoot this one to death. And see, total kills three. So that is a um, that is a D system. Uh, in the next tutorial, we're gonna be finishing it, and um, that's part four. In part four, we're gonna finish the series. And um, if you did enjoy this, I really enjoyed making this video. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next tutorial. Bye bye. <laughs>